outside the holy ground mike is in getting a coffee again a second one today so we need that before we head down to the gym <laughs> just at the gym now and um, we've got our pre-workout little snack so we have the gorgeous energy balls that Mike has made and we have the lovely cup of coffee as well our second one today and um, so yeah we're about to do a workout there now in a few minutes and um, so we're going to show you what we're getting up to um, Mike I think is deadlifting squatting farmers walk um, and a couple of other things um, so we're going to go through that with you and I am going to be squatting and sumo deadlift as well. So these are the famous energy balls that Mike has been making and everyone's going crazy for it. So these are salted caramel. These are absolutely gorgeous so I can't wait to have this now. Just while Mike is getting set up there I'm going to just show you my um, filming equipment. So what I use to do these videos. Um, so I literally just use my phone, so I just have the, the iPhone 8, um, which is obviously really dated now, <laughs> so, um, but it definitely does the job. Um, so yeah, what I'm showing you here right now is my um, lighting and um, the stand for the phone and things like that, and the microphone. So these are the lights, so I use the Loom Cube. Um, is the brand that I use so I have these just charging here now so they're USB USB cable um, for charging and you just plug them in and I have these charging away here now I've got two of them um, this is the microphone so it's all Unicube um, is the brand so that's the microphone um, so I'm going to take it out here so I'm just showing you this is obviously for this is the windshield um, so when you're outside, so I haven't been able to use this yet because I needed to get a new cable for this to attach to my iPhone. Um, so in our previous videos, you would have heard any of our videos outside um, or we were on the beach as well. It was very hard for you to hear us. So hopefully this will um, make it a lot better. So yeah, here is the stand. So it's quite heavy and um, so this will take an iPhone or, or any kind of phone really. The lights will go onto this as well. So the lights will screw on on either side here and here. Um, and we can have the microphone as well screwed in. So this is brilliant really. I think it goes to about five feet. Um, I'm not sure exactly how heavy it goes. So I had to get this. I ordered this from Apple. Um, I ordered it the other day and it literally came the next day and it was free delivery and um, so yeah anyone using their iPhone for a recording will know how important this little cable is so I needed this to be able to attach the microphone um, to my iPhone okay so this is just a little adapter here so I'm going to be able to use this now today which I am delighted with so yeah, it's basic enough my setup. Um, like I'm not using a fancy camera or anything like that. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> that can be the goal down the line. Um, so yeah, like these lights are brilliant. So these are excellent quality. Um, everything I have here is is really good. I'm really happy with it. So yeah, I just said I'd show you that while I was getting set up. And Mike is over there now. He's warming up for the deadlift. <laughs> part of Mike's warm-up he likes to do is skipping so we both love skipping here and we have a few skipping ropes in the gym and a lot of people uh, skip here actually and um, there's fine open spaces here for skipping so he's doing it on the mats here in the dumbbell area I prefer myself to do it on this ground here because I just find the rope glides far better on the ground so you'll see over here actually there's loads of marks on the ground here from people skipping um, so this is kind of a popular spot here to do it. So yeah, skipping is absolutely brilliant and we love it here. He's finished already. 
That was very quick, Mike. <laughs> so yeah, he's warmed up enough, I'd say. So here's Mike set up. He is deadlifting, so he's just warming up there now at the moment. Um, so we've got the two deadlifting platforms here. You can see they're well used. <laughs> A lot of deadlifting goes on here in this gym. to get my own workout done so I'm going to be squatting and sumo deadlift as well. Here, so we've got two of these in the gym so this is a safety squat rack so there's bars here as well and um, just in case you failed your lift and um, the bars will catch the weight basically and um, so that you can come in out underneath and um, so I'm just going to show you the setup here so uh, depending on your height that will depend on where you're going to put these hooks here so these hooks are called J hooks and this is where you're going to put the bar inside here so basically you want it to be about shoulder height or just below okay so you can see here um, I have it just kind of touching just below shoulder height and um, basically when you are standing in underneath the bar you don't want to have to go up on your tippy toes to come back out and um, to so basically when you're unracking the the bar out of the rack you don't want to have to reach up to get that bar out of these hooks here um, same thing for having it too low as well so the reason for having it too low if it was really low down here another few down on the rack and um, it would mean I would be doing like a mini little squat every time basically to get the bar out of the rack and just wasting um, valuable energy basically that you don't need to <laughs> For a bit of air there just finished the deadlift and part of my session i haven't conventional deadlift in years i usually do sumo so i kept it light today just to get the technique right again and uh it'll take off then again in the next couple of months but uh it's always been probably my worst lift but um i'm determined to fix that now so the next few months i'm going to build up my conventional deadlift and uh, hopefully take it to New Heights.
here nor next. You don't see this in many gyms. It's not that common. But it's one of the best upper back exercises out there. You lie face down with your face in the hole here. And you can't cheat. So you see that happen a lot, especially with bent rows. People tend to use a lot of momentum with this one. It's impossible. So it's the best upper back exercise that you could do. <laughs> So that was my little demo on the sumo deadlift. Um, another important thing as well when you are deadlifting, um, especially with the sumo stance, is that you're spreading the floor with your feet. So when you're coming up to the standing position, you're really pushing those feet into the ground. Your feet will be pointing outwards at an angle and really imagine like you're trying to spread that floor and push those feet into the ground really hard. So it's a really, um, it's a real lower body exercise. It is whole body, you're using your whole body, but it's not just walking up to the bar and picking the weight up off the ground with your upper body. It's actually, you're holding the bar with your upper body. You're locking out that back, locking out the whole of the back, keeping everything nice and tight, and you're just pushing those feet through the floor to, till you're standing. So that's um, the most important thing when you are deadlifting is making sure that that back is locked out into position and you'll do that at the start of every rep. Shower and then have my dinner and 
chill out for the rest of the weekend. We hope you enjoyed coming into the gym and seeing how we train. Um, and don't forget to like, subscribe to our channel, and you can share this video as well if you want. So thanks for watching. Cheers. Thank you.